Hello! In this video I'm going to talk about LED light bulbs as a replacement for regular incandescent bulbs. Firstly I'd like to say thank you for everyone who's subscribed to my channel. Uh, we've now got 101 subscribers, which uh, doesn't sound that many, but for me that's, that's a real achievement, so thanks very much. Um, as you may remember from my other video, if we can get to a thousand subscribers, I have this um, Goofone i6 to give away, which I did an unboxing and review of in my last video. So please subscribe and retweet and share on Facebook. And if you're one of the thousand subscribers that we can get up to, then uh, this phone could be yours for free. So I've replaced most of the bulbs in my home with LED replacements. There are a couple of advantages to using LED replacements. Uh, the first one is that LED bulbs use considerably less power. So a 40 watt incandescent bulb uses 40 watts of power, uh, whereas LED replacement that has the equivalent brightness of a 40 watt bulb probably uses in the region of 5 watts. So you can imagine that if you replaced all the bulbs in your home, there'd be quite a significant energy saving. The other thing is that LED bulbs last a lot longer. So I've got, I had one bulb on um, a bedside lamp that lasts about a year, uh, only used in the evenings and used more in the winter, obviously. And yeah, the bulb lasts about a year, whereas LED bulbs uh, last about a minimum of 20,000 hours, which with, with occasional use is years and years of usage. So I've got an LED bulb in my bedside lamp and so far it's lasted two years and that's a, already a year year's improvement. They are more expensive though, I mean you can pick up the kind of golf ball um, bayonet or I think or screw bulb that I had in my bedside lamp, you can you can replace those for about 50 pence whereas an LED bulb, a cheap one will be sort of five pounds and they can go up to anything up to sort of ten pounds really but there is a huge saving to be made. I mean, it's not going to make you a millionaire, but there's a huge saving in terms of your time and your energy bills over the lifetime of an LED bulb. So LED bulbs are available in a variety of... Oh, LED bulbs, like incandescent bulbs, are available in a variety of formats. You can get the bayonet ones, the screw ones of the different sizes, and also they come in different... Uh, with different light outputs and this is probably the most important thing to get right. If you've got a, a ceiling bulb uh, which is say 80 or 100 watts which is quite bright, if you replace that with a 40 watt incandescent bulb uh, it's going to look pretty bleak in your in your room. And likewise with a, with a bedside lamp or something they're sort of 40 to 60 watts so if you get one that's 80 watts you'll be blinded. So you have to choose the right brightness. If you're lucky, the light bulb will say that it has a, it's the equivalent of a 40 watt incandescent bulb, which is great. They tend to be a little bit dimmer than they say in the specification. So if they say 40 watts, 40 watt equivalent, it's probably about 35 watts. Um, there's something, the LED, the quality of LED light, it's improved significantly from what I can tell over the last few years. Uh, but they don't quite have the same dispersal as incandescent bulbs. So incandescent bulbs would, would illuminate a room slightly more effectively, but you, you get used to it very quickly, and I, I'm very happy with my LED bulb replacements. Um, so usually they actually specify the brightness of a bulb in lumens, and you can look on the internet and see what the uh, how many lumens a 40-watt bulb typically gives off, and then get an LED replacement that has the right uh, light level in lumens. It's harder generally to get the brighter bulbs, so I've got a bulb in my uh, ceiling lamp and I wanted a 100 watt replacement, and I think it might be actually closer to a 90 watt replacement, which is probably about 85 watts. So it's very bright um, and it's made by Philips and it works perfectly, but it's a little bit dimmer than uh, than I would like, but then I don't tend to use a, a ceiling like that much. Now you can also get sort of speciality bulbs. So here I have a uh, colour changing LED bulb which I bought from AliExpress in China um, and it comes with a little remote control for, for changing colours and strobe effects and brightness and things. So uh, this cost about £5. 
Now, electricity is dangerous, so I wouldn't personally, actually, I wouldn't recommend doing this sort of thing. You can buy these colour changing bulbs in this country. I bought one for my dad for about, I think it was quite, quite expensive, uh, by a company called Aura or something, Aura Glow or something, and it was about it was about 18 quid. You can buy them in Maplins uh, for 20 pounds, I think. Um, so I don't know, you know, you can't see what's inside this bulb. And actually, I thought this was metal, but it might. No, I think it is metal. Um, but, you know, you don't know what the electronics is like inside this. So would you really want to risk, you know, putting 240 volts through a cheap bulb? Not a brilliant idea. So uh, while I wouldn't recommend getting maybe this Chinese one, uh, which I have to say on certain, I think on yellow light, or it might have been orange light, it tends to flicker, which is slightly concerning. Um, some of these are for dimmer switch uh, light fittings, and some of them are just for regular light fittings. I'm not, I think this one wasn't for dimmer switch, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't feel that safe using it. The Aura Glow one um, that we've got is really is great really I mean the brightness it goes up to very bright it goes up to too bright really which is unusual for an LED bulb and with all the different colors as well I mean you obviously you can sort of imitate an incandescent oh dear that's not very good <laughs> you can imitate an incandescent bulb oh. you can imitate an incandescent bulb using the sort of yellow or orange settings and then there are sort of more funky ones like red um, if you want to look like you're in a brothel or blue you know to be kind of atmospheric or something so and there's this strobing and stuff if you want to live in a disco I guess um, but there's lots of settings on these on these controllers they're all pretty well the same much the same but you know just to be safe probably buy it from a high street retailer that's it if you have any questions about LED bulbs please leave them in the description box below I'm not an expert but I can certainly tell you about the lifetime and the cost and where I got my various LED bulbs from. Uh, I hope you like this video and as I said before if we can get a thousand subscribers I'll give away this uh, Goofone i6. Thanks for watching.